around and kind of attend to? What do you want us to do with Ken? Um, what, what is this all about? What are we doing? Bodybuilding. We're bodybuilding? Okay, so we are bodybuilding. Well, not really right now, but Daniel wants to basically document this so that he can understand what is the correct way to train. There is really only one way, correct way to train, so you can get your benefits, maximum benefits in the minimum amount of time. The problem is that when you go to gyms and when you talk to people in the industry, no matter how big and bulky they are, everybody has a different theory of exercise. Every house. Yeah. And the problem with that is that nobody really knows what works and they don't even tell you why. And they can have all these degrees in nutrition and biochemistry and everything else and the reality is that they still don't understand the basics of how the human body functions. And because if they did, there wouldn't be so much confusion. And of course, part of the confusion is that all these companies like all those supplement companies and magazines, they purposely put out bad information to confuse people so that you will always have to depend on them, buy their supplements and buy their magazines. And it's a vicious circle. And we're all victims of that. I've been doing this for very long and that's how I basically wasted at least two-thirds of my time until now I'm beginning to realize exactly what it is that you have to do to, good, to get good results based on sound scientific principles and logic, in other words, things that make sense. Not that somebody arbitrarily says, just because this person here has a PhD in biomechanics or nutrition or biochemistry, and that's really nothing to take away from them, but the reality is that they really don't understand the basic physiology of the elements of what it is to really understand how your body reacts. Yeah. With that in mind, you have to understand too that 99% of the people that you see at the gym or in magazines whether they're huge, huge professional bodybuilders or just very well-developed people, uh, what they don't tell you is a lot of the things that they're taking some sort of anabolic agent, whether it's steroids or growth hormones and things like that. Now, there are ways to tell if they're on the juice or in the gear, as they call it or not, but that's besides the point. So, let's start with the basic things. Let's ask you what it is that you want to obtain out of this maybe first series of videos that will hopefully explain to you what it is that you got to do, what it is that you want to understand. Well, I don't want to be like any other bodybuilder, like I don't want to be like Arnold, I just want to be like a better version of myself okay. every year. That's good. So I just want to know how to do that, like okay. like maximize, because right. like I'm young so I want all my results fast. Right, of course. You <laughs> I, don't want wait, I don't want to wait yeah. 20 years. Right, exactly. Yeah. Very good. Well, that's, that's good because the first thing that you have to understand is what we call preliminary, preliminary considerations that you have to have realistic goals. So number one, you have to define what you want to do, what you want to get out of this. So you want to get big, you want to be muscular, you want to develop your physical potential to the best of your ability. And whether you end up being like Arnold or Chris Waddell, well, that's really not important. You may or may not have the genetic potential for that, number one, and you can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. But you also have to realize that even if you have the genetic potential, you can only get to the level of Arnold and all these people are going to be taking steroids and things like that. And there's really nothing wrong with taking steroids, believe it or not, if you know what you're doing and if you have a really set determined goal why you're doing it. And you have a foundation, right? A foundation, but people that are already taking steroids, they're not just taking steroids. Arnold was one of the few people in that generation of bodybuilders up until the 1990s that they took steroids to a certain extent, and that was about it. Now you have people that not just take steroids, they take growth hormones, they take other chemicals that are beyond that, and they end up, that's why they get so big. Yeah. Because they're, they're taking a level and putting even more chemicals into it. And your guts are big now. Well, yeah, you have a lot of different physiological problems. Now again, if that's what they want to do, that's fine for them. But then you end up with bodies that are really, really not aesthetic at all. But if that's what they want to do, you know, that's fine with them too. And the thing about steroids is that you're going to understand them later on as we just talk about it, is that steroids are there to simply help you break your plateaus. You know, they're really, they are really are very powerful chemicals, but that's why you have to stay away from them because at this point, you don't need them. And you probably won't need them if you find that when you follow these principles, you will be obtaining good results. When you get to be my age, a lot older, and your hormones change and your chemistry changes, then we, that's when you really benefit from steroids and things like that, but you know, that's really the thing about steroids. They're there for a reason, and only the people that are at a very, very high level, if they want to pursue that, that's what they do. In your case, you just want to do strength training, develop your maximum potential naturally, and like you said, 
become, this is the key part, become a better version of yourself year after year. So you'll understand that after you learn some of these specific principles that I didn't create, but I'll tell you about that later, this is going to help you not just understand the things about your body and how things change, but it's also going to help you understand things in life in general. Your goals, going to school, being better at a relationship, uh, and most important, becoming a better person of yourself so that everything in your life falls into place, right? Yeah. Okay. So.